Hey there guys, welcome back to SnowRunner. I'm MJ Haggis and we are back in an old friend, the Colob. And the reason we've jumped into the Colob is we're going to do the contract cutting losses. We've got to rescue the BM-17, the Royal BM. Currently sitting in the bottom left corner of the map, which I'm going to show you. We're at the garage. Obviously in Harvest Cup, as you can see, but we're going to head down to this point here. Got to take the trailer and the BM somewhere. I'm not too sure. It's a, oh, delivered to the corporate warehouse. So we're going to drop them off there. So, not too bad, but the reason I'm in the cola but not something a bit more normal is because the trailer's rather large. And I believe it's got the high saddle requirement. So, that's why I'm in the cola. So, on that basis, we need to get up... How was the easiest route? Maybe straight down to that... Down to that junction, and then we're going to head up there and down. Something like that. We are good to go. 380 litres of fuel. The sun is shining. Let's go and do it. absolute powerhouse this thing is. It's just a shame it's got such limited use having not many uh, add-ons for it. But that's where I've left the two trailers. Still do need to figure out what I'm doing with those um, things that's in the back. Is it vehicle spare parts? I can't remember. We'll get around to it at some point. I am absolutely sure. Go around that tree. Ah. Okay, don't go around the tree. There we go. I thought I'd give that route. Normally I'd come through the trees just there. I thought I'd try a different route, but... Limited turning circle. And back up over the hill. Eek. Yeah, see, the slow steering tends to catch me out. never turns quite as quick as you would like. Go. So, anyway. Enough about my rubbish driving skills. Um, the reason I'm just going straight across with this guy is I'm going to try and attach the trailer to this and then I'm going to try and winch to the Royal BM70 and do the whole thing in one go. Okay, that's quite good. It feels up there. That's quite solid up on that bit. I normally go through the mud. Come on. So this is the drop-off point. All very well and good. Hopefully we'll be able to get in there with the trailer and the BM. Yeah, okay, might need a do it separate, but once I'm here, I'll, I'll separate the BM off and drag him in separately. But anyway, right, you can see where I'm going with the waypoints, you can see the drop-off point, that's nice and easy, so I will bring you back once I'm a little bit closer, just to save a bit of time. I can see the weather's beautiful, this thing's more than capable to get there, uh, especially because he's on his own, so I'll be right back. Not a particularly difficult journey. I did pick up a little bit of damage just bouncing off things, which is not ideal. Um, right, let's go and get turned. He's looking a little bit sorry for himself. And it, I caught a glimpse. It did look like that BM had a high saddle. It's quite hard to tell sometimes. Right, back it up. We are about to find it, but I'm fairly confident that's a high saddle on that trailer. I'll not be impressed if it's a low one. Correct. Yes, it is. Okay. Good start. Now let's go and fetch this guy. Big old trailer. 
shame we can't get them up on the back. There's no ramps. Clear? Yeah. Should do that. You coming? Yes, no problems there. Let's figure out the route again. Go straight back across the bridge. Don't take the first left. Take the second left and we're in. Okay. Let's go for a drive. A star and the medium log still sat there waiting for its next job. I had considered getting the pay star back to the garage and just leaving the trailer, but I think I'll probably be using it sooner rather than later, so I'll just leave it there. It's all good. So enjoying the sunshine. Okay, we're going to cross this without any shenanigans. Mainly on the corners when the the BM is going to cut the corner, maybe. Yeah, that's not good. That was a bad bounce. Oops. A little bit more speed. Oh, okay, what have I caught on? Back it up. What have I caught on? Was it? It's the tree. Ah. Oh. Rude. Um, what can we use? Come on. Off. Am I clear of it now? <sighs> Despawn tree. I think it's just the, the lower rear bumper part is catching on the root or the base of the fallen tree and they just they are not forgiving right, so let's try another winch point from there to it I just want to shimmy it over just a little is that going to do it? yes I'll do it ok put me up Good at the front, good at the back. That BM is jumping about like a jumpy about thing. Ah, oh, what? Oh no, we're cutting something else now. Oh, not quite. <laughs> Definitely feel like I do need the power of the colob here. I, just, I can't get into a high ratio, I haven't got the power for that. I could always try sticking on the power, or sticking on the engine of the BM, so we'll try it and see if it makes any difference. Well, we started. Now can we get into high ratio? Yes! So I think it was pointed out to me it's another one of those trucks when you drop it off you would normally expect the trailer and the truck to disappear uh, at the end of the contract and the Royal BM17 I believe is going to stay with us. Not a problem as long as I get it out of the way so it's not hogging some prime real estate. What's that? Nasty rocks. Yeah. Okay, we're good. High ratio again, maybe? Yes. Good, good. I don't think we've got overly far to go. And as soon as we get this dropped off, the cola will be going back to the garage, mainly to get fixed, but I don't think there's many other high saddle jobs. Not that left. And 
corner. That's wide. Excellent. Telegraph pole, don't catch it, don't catch it. Don't catch it. They're going at the tree now. The eyes in the back of your head. That's a nasty log crossing that one. The logs are just wide enough to drop you in. Come on. The end of not like that. We're going the right way. Yeah, kinda. Fairly basic mission, to be honest, but it's the the starter of quite a few. I'm hoping to get the next one soon, which is the big wind turbine blade. Oops, oops, are we across? Yeah, I knew that crossing was going to be a bit dodgy, but we're through. I think I'll be cutting this corner though. Yeah, the big wind turbine blade that's down at the bottom of the crossroads map. I'd like to get that contract done. Just purely out of curiosity. Uh oh. I got stuck on something. Oh. BM straight across. This gearbox is taking a hammering. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is that's doing the gearbox damage. Normally it's things like the engine and the fuel tanks that get damage. Okay. I have remembered to put the suspension up on this guy, haven't I? I'm sure I did do it. Let's get out of the tree, though. Yeah, I did put it up. Did it go back up again? Now it's going back up. Oh, I should have the beacons on, shouldn't I? We're almost there, though. Keep going. Big wide turn in here. Is that the bigger entrance? Can't remember. We'll go for the second one, I think. Come on, Colob. Almost there. It's a slow journey, this one. You're not going to make it around this. Release that winch. Just get the trailer in. The trailer's quite nice, but I don't think we're getting to keep that. Oh, I've got to do the truck first. Okay. Back that out. Keep reversing until you hit something. There's a 
terrible reversing sound. Hey, okay. You come here. BM17, that's it's actually quite a good looking truck. Looks quite chunky and purposeful. I just never found it massively great for the jobs we used it for. Okay, thank you. Thought it was going to disappear. Well, no, I knew that wasn't going to disappear because I was told. Well, that's where it should have disappeared. Now, what happens with the trailer? Oh, okay, interesting. Looks like we get to keep the trailer. So, nicely done. Both the truck and the trailer may have seen better days, but it's nothing we can't fix. Well, go on then, fix them. Let's see if we can connect it back up again since it's dropped it. Oh yeah, we can. Interesting. And it sounds like the BM is still running after me pulling it here. Definitely need to get this trailer out of the way because I can't leave that there because I'm well in the road. And, um, is it even a trailer we're going to maybe use in the future? I'm just going to reverse it straight across the road. I hope nothing's coming. In there. Perfect. Thank you, Tree, for stopping it. And now I'm just going to attach the winch back to the BM and move it a little bit further out of the way and switch its engine off. Look at the size difference. It really shows you how big these coal obs are. I need to do the engine as well. I forgot already. Um, I'll turn it on and... I must have switched off with the contract completed. Okay. Right. First one done. Easy oozy. I'll get this guy back to the garage just now and then we'll move on to the next task. We're in, so there's a medium logs one there but we've got one over it already so I'm I'm almost tempted to do that where where is that log down here is it is that a con log bridge there we go oh it's way up oh it's that one not too fussed about doing that because that is actually surprisingly easy to get through there without needing to complete that uh I still got the take it up there lots to do right guys anyway like I said I'm gonna go and get the colo back to the garage once that's back in the garage, I'll have a look at the contracts and see what the next logical one is, and uh, that might be of a little bit of an interest, so I'll bring you back in a second. Welcome back. I've jumped into the Tega, and we're up at the airport. The next task that's kind of appeared that would open up, again, another step in the way to the keep refrigerated is Chicken Coop. Needs two medium planks, and they're picked up at the airport, which is quite handy. I'll show you the map where we're at exactly and what we're doing. So there's the pickup point. So medium planks, also vehicle spare parts and service spare parts, which is quite nice. We've only got to drop them off down here, the chicken coop. That's the first part. So having had the Tega where it is, I'm hoping we can get the medium planks straight onto this trailer and get that dropped off. Could be much more convenient if we'd tried that. The second part, though is four metal rolls and it is intimating that it's through in the heartlands so we could probably depending on where it is in the heartlands maybe still use the pike with the trailer because we're, we're just coming through from here again back into the heartlands unless we've got something already 
lying to use in the Heartlands. I haven't checked that yet. I've literally just dropped the Colo back in the garage and jumped into the Tega. So, anyway, let's just go to the airport, see what those medium planks are all about. We've got absolutely no issues with fuel, considering we're at the gas station here. Sometimes it pays to leave trucks dotted around the maps. Right, so let's just go and see what this is all about. Medium planks, yeah, absolutely no problem. Could have probably got another one, because that's the six slot bed. That's a mod, and I think if you haven't seen my previous ones, this is a mod set of trucks. I have linked them in the description below. If you're interested, by all means, go and have a look. It may be something that you would find incredibly useful. So far, I have. Great set of truck uh, trailers. Uh, okay, so let's go and drop these off and see about the next stage. So we are going to go from here. I've got to look at the map, sorry. Uh, down this road. From there. Okay, so at that junction... I think this is the one we... Yeah, we've just done this last little section here already. That we cut the corner there. So that's nice and easy from there. Down. And then, I tell you what, we could probably just cut the corner right there though. That water looks a wee bit ominous, but we'll worry about that when we get to it. Okay. Let's go for a drive again. Oh, evening's setting in. Sun is going down way too fast. Where's the exit? This shouldn't be a problem for the Tega. Still one of my favourite trucks. It's just so capable. It's one of the trucks where you get as a reward and you have to do a number of contracts to get it. It's a bit of a faff, but it's worth doing. If you haven't done it already, guys, I, I strongly recommend those tasks, those contracts. And the round out damage. Feels like it's getting dark quite quickly. Okay, I think what I'll do is I'll just cut by this sunflower field and we'll, we'll have a snooze for the night. Where the telegraph pole? Oh, that was close. Yeah, he's got not a bad view. Let's get him sleeping. Ten past seven, yeah. It's into overtime. Be a wee bit dark to begin with. I'm sure it'll lighten up pretty fast. We're getting to do some more weird and wonderful tasks and contracts. Oh, watch this bit. Watch that bit. Oh, that's nasty as well. Can we go round it? Let's try and go over it. No, we want to go that way. Was that a hard left down that road, or was that... Yeah, I guess it uh, was. Oopsie, I need to get turned. There we go. Not a problem. Yeah, this is a bit familiar now, having only just done this. Nice to have the quicker steering of the Tega. At Kolob, such a good vehicle, but just so slow.
had some nasty log crossings. That bit there, that second, or the last one there before you jump back up onto it. Right, let's go, go, go. One go change gear. Bit again, make it out wide and then cut in nice and straight. Yep, come on, come on. Where are we? Okay. I probably don't need to go up here. Just a bit I was going to cut across the fields. I think it was. Oh, oh well. Let's just follow the waypoints. I think we can do away with the lights. If you've been here, you've been on this point before. Body sign. Oh, get out of the way. Yeah. We'll fix it later. I don't think we've been. To, we've obviously you can see it on the map, but we've never been to the chicken coop. Go on. There's another. That's, oh, I know where I'm at. Yeah, that's where the watchtower's just up behind that, wasn't it? That's why we could see this no problem. There's a watchtower right there. Yeah, because that field right there is one you can harvest. I guess they want to finish off the chicken coop. Lovely, let's do it then. Well, let's get it started. Ah, no cutscene. Right, that's that done. Need to get turned, need to go. I put the engine off. Heartlands then. Where are we picking up? Oh, have you got to craft them? Metal rolls crafting zone. Okay. And then back through to Harvest Cop. So that's not too far. Petrol station or fuel station en route. So we need to craft four metal rolls. A easiest way to do that, I need to get the I need to get the generator up and running, then find out what the requirements are. So I'm gonna I'm gonna guess metal beams, and the metal beams I know we can get at the corporate warehouse. It gets a bit more complicated. Okay, right. Let's get this thing fired up. Done. Uh, and I've returned the bandit back to the garage, so have we got any other vehicles around here? Nothing. I just want to get a vehicle into the crafting zone to see what requirements, but I might just have to detach the cat. Which is exactly what we're gonna do. So detach trailer. Hoping it's just metal beams that's required for this. Two metal beams. That's the logical thing in my head. Metal rolls. Fuel required. Oh, just fuel. Excellent. How is that even possible? Fuel, and you can create magically metal rolls. Two, three, and four. So we're out of fuel, but that's not a problem. I honestly thought they were going to make me have to bring metal beams to create them, because that's what they've asked for in the past. But like one metal beams creates two steel rolls, and I thought because it's four metal rolls, two metal beams, it's the logical requirements. 
Maybe they had some in the, in the storehouse at the back. They didn't need that, just the, the fuel they needed. Connect that. Let's refuel the generator. Sweet. I think we'll stop the generator. Don't need that anymore. There we go. And stop the truck. Get my mouse. There we go. So, four metal rolls is a four slot trailer. What are we going to use, guys? What are we going to use? Because I'm going to probably have to do it in the next episode. So we've got this one here, and that's four slots. Perfect. I left it at the garage. Just need a truck now. Clearly, we're going to have a truck in the garage. Piece of cake. Excellent. So, I am going to call it an episode, guys. So, please do come back and join me for that. It will be happening in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and you'll see me again soon. Bye for now.